Good day, all my friends. I'm Oliver from Program Hobby. I bring you one dumper talk. It is a six MDX and a one to fourteen scale from Lesu. It is a hydraulic articulate dumper talk. So we will start it and see all the functions and see all the details. So first, light. Let's on. So front got light and also down there. This one go to light and the back side have lights. Also back side. So and the sound. That's the horn. And the engine sound. Start it. So the functions, this is forward, let's go forward. And backward. When we go backward, second time we will start. So the engine sound will increase. When we go backward, the engine sound will increase more. Okay, and uh, for the hydraulic, start the pump and lift up the bucket. So after lift, you will see here we got one switch. So this is the switch when pressing means the bucket is down. You cannot make the turning of this bucket. So after lift up only a little, you will be able to make the turning of the bucket. So this bucket turning, so this angle to another way will be 180 degrees. And now it is already on the topest so you can see the angle it is around 75 degree, almost vertical. So like this, this is the angle. And let's see how much this one can turn in. This turning is from here, articulated. The left, the pump can start more. Left side, stop side. So it is around 25 degree for turning. So let's get down the bucket. And you see here got this V type for locking. So this should be turning in position. So press it down. Now you cannot make the turning because the switch is already compressed. And also when this turning this dead angle to the let's say I will turn it. So when it is touching here, also under there, got two switch, limit switch. So when reaching this end, the limit switch also touch. So we will stop it from turning. So now you, if you want to turn more, cannot turn it. The motor will not start. Limit switch is switched off. Okay, go down. Not in angle. Let's see. I will lift up only a little, you will see. Then we'll be able, now can, already can turn. So let's go down a little bit. Still can turn. So only lift up very little, the limit switch is released. We'll be able to turn it. Okay, turn it back and sit it. We will see other parts. Let's run it. Go forward. Turn it around. Backward. Okay, let's say now it is loaded, so Loading and lift up a little, make a turning. Okay, let's dump the dust to the, to the road side. Okay, then put back, turn back, sit in position, go to another place. Now I will open it. The, the cabin, so we will see the downside, we will see all the parts. 
And one more function is we will see also for turning. I will hold. So for the wheels, now it is differential, not locked. Turning freely, other side is locked by the table. So now I will lock the differential lock. It's locked. When I start turning, the, the gears are engaged. So now we will go forward and backward. All wheels turning together. So from downside, we will be able to see the, the wires. So it's articulated turning together. I hold it with my hand. So here with the wires, you will be able to see. So now it is locked. We see the front unlocked. Unlocked. So back side, so the, see the rear axle unlocked the position. Now go to lock. Lock. Unlock. Okay. So and so now we will see all the chassis, the details. So we got the front axle with the differential lock, and here is the motor for turning this bucket 180 degrees. This is the brushed small motor inside. And uh, so this one. Uh, it is the chassis from the bucket. It is directly sitting together with the axle, so no suspension here. So here is the CVD drive shaft, and here got one bearing for connection and uh, connect to this middle CVD. And here is the transfer case. So inside is the transmission gearbox. Uh, in there now it is not able to see. So the motor driver motor also there. That we will open the cabin to check it. And also the rear axle got no suspension, so all the shock it is absorbed by the tires. So all these CVD drive shafts, the axle it is all CNC cutting, so all the metal. And uh, this connection junction, this one, this is a articulated junction. And uh, so that's pretty much all this chassis plate. From this angle, we will see the steering cylinder. So for this one, the steering only one cylinder, not like other articulated, got both cylinder each side. So it's only one cylinder here for steering. Lift up a little more, we will see the this cylinder. This one is for lift up the bucket. So one inlet, one outlet. So got distribution well for the changing the direction, we will open it to see. This one is the lock. Press it down, the cabin can be lift up. Also, this door can be open. That we will see. So here is the connecting. So stop it for dropping the cabin. So leave it at this position. After open, we will see. This is the battery. I put two thousand and two hundred. MAH. So this is the maximum can put, just the size to push inside and lock the cabin. So it has to be put like this, so you can lock the cabin. Here is the lock, you will see, locking here, and here is the pin for the, the turning. Here is the driver motor, it is a brushed motor, and the transmission box, it is on the wire there, speed reducing box, there is a silver color. So here, this one is the oil tank and filling up from here. Here is the air vent and uh, this black one is the pump. The, the motor is on there and uh, it is a brushless motor, very small one, but enough because this dump truck it is also a very small one. So here is the ESC, and uh, from this angle, you will be able to see the suction and the discharging line. This one is the discharging line to the distribution valve here. So these are two channel distribution valve, one for the lifting up the bucket, another one for steering. So that's the distribution valve, and here you will see very small one is the pressure release valve. So can be rest assured that the pressure will not rise too hard to burst up the oil hose. Okay, and here is the speaker. You have to see from here the speaker and the light and sound board. 
Okay, so I will put this back and cover it. Yeah, after we lift up, the driver inside is off his seat. Let's put him back to seat. It's a small driver and uh, the, the wheels put his hand on the wheel. Sit tight, buddy. Okay, so here's the door. You can open it to see inside. The driver, you, you can change it as, as another one you like. Lock it. It is locked by the magnet. So in the front of the wind glass, you will see the fence or metal one. Only the wind window, it is plastic, so other parts, it is all metal. From the top, here is a, you can say it is a toolbox. You can put something tools, decoration there. Okay, so we will see the side door. This door can be open. It can put like an engine cover. So here got one pin, you can pull it out. So it can support here, so not to drop the door. Same, like this side. This door, you open it. And also got this support pin. Like our car, the support keeps the engine power not to fail down. So this side is the, the pump and the oil tank. Other side are all the wires. Okay, we will put it down. And lock the pin position. Okay. And this side. Put it back. Support bar, put back. Lock it. And we will put it down. So all these details we already see. The back side also got the tooling. Here are the pin. You see, you take out this hook, and this one can be lifted up. You can tool something you like, what you got there. So we put down the, the bucket. We drive it around, and that's all for this little guy. Thank you very much. Bye.